We're back with analysis from our roundtable journalist Brian Ellison, host contributor with KCUR and KNBC9 political reporter Michael Mahoney. I will start with you, Mahoney. What stood out to you about these candidates today? The veteran status of Crystal Quaid being in the legislature, being the minority leader in the in the House for a, n a number of years, versus Mike Hamra, who is a businessman who has not had any uh, government experience and wants to come in on the uh, top job as uh, state chief executive. Yeah, prided himself as being an outsider. We'll see if that translates at the polls. Well, and I. Think I think that, that is the key difference between these candidates. You were hard pressed to find any real substantial policy differences between the two of them. I think they're going to sign the same legislation and veto the same legislation should they be elected governor. I think the real difference is what kind of leadership they've got experience offering. Crystal Quaid points to her legislative experience leading Democrats in a super minority building relationships across partisan lines. Mike Hamra may be able to do that, but his leadership has happened primarily in the business arena where the people that he talks about finding solutions with or solving problems with are people who reported to him as the CEO for the most part. Uh, is that kind of leadership what the governor, the executive role needs? Maybe. Or will it work in Jefferson City? I think that's the key question between these two candidates. Yeah, and pushes himself as somebody who would try to maybe go to the initiative petition, which is an interesting strategy, uh, if gridlock is just too much in Jeff City. He was talking in his interview, they had one line in there about if there is stonewalling, if there are reluctant uh, uh, politicians in the, in the state uh, government and the le legislature, it's no if there are, especially with, with a uh, uh, Democratic uh, governor, the last three sessions of the, uh, of the state Senate have been tied in gridlock almost from, uh, from the get-go. Um, so, uh, you know, it's not if, it is you, even with, you know, a new House, a new, a new Senate, there is going to be uh, some things that you got to overcome as a governor. You know, we look ahead to November, of course, abortion and reproductive rights. I mean, that is a temple issue for Democrats uh, with this constitutional amendment likely on the ballot. Will that help Democrats in November? I think undoubtedly it helps Democrats, but does it help them enough? I think in order for any Democrat to win, including either of these two choices, uh, it's going to take three things happening. First, there's going to have to be an extraordinarily strong performance by that Democratic candidate. Second, there's going to have to be uh, an extremely weak performance by a Republican. Uh, and and I cer certainly think there are some Republicans that the Democrats would rather face than others. Uh, but I think the third factor, Cody, is to be honest, it's going to take some sort of X factor, some unexpected development, something like the Todd Akin moment against Claire McCaskill some years ago. Otherwise, even the strongest Democrat versus the weakest Republican is still an uphill battle in this state. Yeah, whoever wins the uh, Democratic nomination is going to have to win, run a perfect campaign and uh, have uh, bank on something unexpected, some X factor, like uh, like Brian, uh, Brian said, said. It's an uphill battle. Mm -hmm. Bottom line, uh, with a little bit more than a week ago to the election, how do you see this shaking out for Democrats? Uh, I think uh, Crystal uh, Quaid has the inside track. Just this uh, past week, she picked up uh, the key endorsements from Quentin Lucas, uh, mayor here in Kansas City, and Tashara Jones, the mayor of uh, St. Louis. Those are the bases of the Democratic Party in the state of Missouri. That will help her uh, uh, a lot, and uh, I, think she, I think she wins. Right. I, I think that's probably right. My camera uh, brings uh, sort of the outside funding, kind of the Trudy Bush Valentine factor, though, and she did beat Lucas Kuntz in the, the U.S. Senate race uh, two years ago. Uh, I think there is some possibility that either candidate could pull this out, but I do think Crystal Quaid has the inside edge. All right, we'll see what happens. Brian Ellison, Michael Mahoney, thank you very much. Count on KNBC 9 News and Heart of the Matter for your commitment 2024 coverage on air and online at KNBC.com.